I'm not here to bash Nigeria or say anybody in about Nigeria. So don't come here and come and start saying, oh, because you are an entire Obudo, now you're talking about things about Nigeria. I'm not insulting Nigeria. I'm just comparing, you know, the things I love about being here in comparison to back in Nigeria. So I'm not insulting my motherland. <laughs> and welcome to my channel i'm timmy if it's your first time here welcome to timmy banjo's channel please do well by subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up today i'm going to be talking about the things i like about being in you know england the united kingdom if that sounds like something you're interested in stay tuned and keep on watching so the very first thing and the most obvious thing is i know many people noticed it is the lights and wi-fi it blew my mind when I came here and there is light every single minute of the day, every hour of the day and I've not seen light this stable in my life before I'm not, not obviously, except when I travel but I'm saying in Nigeria, you know, you, you can have constant light but then when you take the light, you have to turn on the gen or you turn on the inverter stuff like that, but here, you don't need any of that so there is constant light, the electricity there is constant Wi-Fi almost anywhere you go. There's Wi-Fi in my um, accommodation here. There's Wi-Fi in my church. There's Wi-Fi in my school. Anywhere you go, just ask for Wi-Fi. The next thing is the mode of transportation. It is always scheduled. I mean, you can always check for when a train is going to come, when a train is going to leave, for when buses are going to come. You cannot just, you know, go outside and... Yeah, exactly to see a your leg bus or a Kenya bus. <laughs> it's not going to happen like that. So the amount of transportation is always scheduled, which allows you to plan for your time and you know be more efficient with your schedule and know what to do, when to do it. So it, it just you know helps you plan better with your timing. The next thing is the politeness. People are so polite. I'm like, are you really nice? Is this how you are in real life? Okay, this is real life, but you know they're so quick to help for instance when i just came um and i was at the train station i didn't know where i was going to so some people like three people they were there they were like oh can we help you I'm like yes please help me and they were like oh you know our train is going to take a while before it gets here so let's just help you we have a lot of time so they helped me all the way to the front of the train station and I just kept saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Like it was so I was like, see, hey God, if you was in Lagos and somebody wants to help you, share your egg room. Just have like a 200 now, 500 now in your pockets. Also, yeah, or the, uh, like if you're in the supermarket and you need something, you just see an attendant and you're like, oh please, maybe if the price tag is not on it, for instance, I'm going to get something and the price tag was in the other. Oh, how much is this? And I said, oh, that the price is not there. That could you please hold on? Let me quickly go and ask how much it is. He took the blender, went all the way to the front, asked how much it was, came back to me. Like he looked for me because I had shifted away from that place. So he looked for me, gave it to me and said, oh, it's about 20 pounds. And I was like, oh, do you want something else? Do you want me to recommend? I'm like, <laughs> why are you nice? <laughs> So I was like, okay, no, I don't want anything else. Thank you. And I was never purchasing that particular blender, but you know, just the gesture was so nice. And you're quick to say, oh, all right, love. You know, something love. I'm like, who is your love? <laughs> the next one I'm going to mention is the way people drive here. You hardly see people drive rough. Like, nobody's in a hurry. The roads are free. There's no traffic. Everybody is calm. You will hardly hear anybody honk their car, like press a horn. I've not heard anybody, I've not heard horn since um, I've, you know, gotten here. Either I'm inside or outside, I, I've not heard horn before. I've never heard train doing pom pom. I've not heard it before. It was only once I heard it. I don't, it was on the road outside, like the city center. And I feel that was like the city center, but here, I've never heard horn before. And they respect, like, the zebra crossing, crossing when you want to cross. There is something you can just press, like, oh, I want to cross. So when it comes on, they are so respectable. In Lagos, if you want to cross, mm, and you are on the zebra crossing, you will still run. 
even in your heels, you still run. I'm not here to bash Nigeria or say anybody in about Nigeria. So don't come here and come and start saying, oh, because you have entered Obudo, now you're talking about bad things about Nigeria. I'm not insulting Nigeria. I'm just comparing, you know, the things I love about being here in comparison to back in Nigeria. So I'm not insulting my motherland. The next thing I love, which is another obvious one, if you're an OG here and on my Insta story, is the food hey god the accessibility to many many food items the cheapness it's not all that cheap but oh it's affordable i said i won't stop using the word cheap it's affordable like you can have five pound and you will buy groceries like you will plenty <laughs> you buy a lot of things you buy pepper you buy bread you buy egg you buy onions you can even buy a drink safe so there's always food there are so many fast foods for you to pick and choose from right you know at your at a stretch there are so many of them but i would not advise you eat fast food every day i know i stay away from fast food i don't even do fast food at all once in a while and you know there are so many stores you can get different varieties from there's tesco there's iceland there's b and m there's what farm food there's sainsbury there are so many, you know, variety of foods. So you cannot say you're looking for something in particular and you cannot find it. Even in the African store, there's African store, there's a Nigerian store, there's Asian store, there's there are so many um variety of foods that you can just you know get your hands on. Google map is your friend, just Google anything you're looking for. It works like magic. You will see it, it's going to come up, it's going to pop up. Just Google what you're looking for, especially food, you're going to find it. The fact that they also have like cheap wines, you can buy wine for like one pound, very sweet and delicious wine. That's what me and my friends, we've always been drinking. Oh my God. You can even find wine for like 90p, it's that cheap. And there are some other wines, obviously, that are like 20, 20 pounds, you know, 15 pounds. There is also, there's also like the vegetable section in Tesco where I get my veggies from. That thing has changed my life and increased my vegetable intake. They have this washed salad mix in a nylon and just pick it up. It's about one pound or one pound fifty. And everything is there, like four varieties of um, vegetables, different types of leaf, like spinach, you know, they just mix it in one nylon. And it's washed and clean, ready to eat. So just pick it up and be eating it any day of the time you want. Like, I always buy like three of them because I eat a lot of it and it's just it, if it's in nigeria and i want to make salad let's buy cabbage carrot let's use i will not wash it <laughs> i'm just saying that compared to this place here is very very you know just handy pick it and move another thing i like here is the delivery slash the post office you know how it works when you have a package to drop or deliver you know just take it to the post office with the address phone number pay the fee and you know that's just it the person will receive I'll tell you the day the person receive it everything is going to go smoothly you cannot hear your package was lost or your package was damaged hardly you will not hear oh there's been a delay or police arrested us or they collected that they collected the package you will not hear things like that so here the post office works very very seamlessly very very smoothly once you have a package just take it to the post office if somebody wants to send something to you tell them to send it to the post office you're going to get it another thing i enjoy here is the water like the tap water is what we drink <laughs> it's clean doesn't have smell doesn't have taste it's clean and it's always like um, the temperature is always on demand whenever i want hot water just turn your tap hot water will come out when you want cold water turn your tap again cold water will come out so that's one thing i like the most you hardly see me boil water to make coffee or, or chocolate i just turn the tap and wait for it to be hot <laughs> when it's hot i take my hot water so the water here is very good for drinking you don't need to boil it and you know if you want to like buy table water obviously you can there are many bottled waters um, parks in Tesco you can just buy one but I live on the third floor I can't carry pack of water all the way to the upstairs okay the safety here is is very very I don't know I, I don't live like in in a very in a city let me put it that way I don't live in a city 
the safety here is very very i don't i don't know how to put it but is ah, incredible like there are there are policemen like here and there but maybe they are just doing patrol or something but be, before you will see when you major or oh, somebody is missing or a crime or somebody stole something it hardly happens here i mean you can go for a walk around 10 pm here you see people like outside my window i see people walk their dogs around them um, 7 pm to like 8 10 p.m. there about or even 11 p.m. I see people walk their dogs and I'm like wow you know for you to feel safe enough to walk not even on your dog <laughs> walk your dog <laughs> you're walking your dog by 11 p.m. and you see people running like people who do exercise they run people who like to run I'm like mm, you are encouraging me I yeah, they motivate me <laughs> uh, so you know they have to feel like a sense of comfort a sense of safety for them to say oh i'm going to walk my dog by this time and you know they are rest assured that they will get back home in one piece so yeah there is safety here and it's very very incredible so the last thing i'm going to mention is the shopping varieties this one is the one that will be harmful on your pocket it might tear your pockets if you have if you don't have control like there are so many things i need but i don't i don't even realize i need it until i enter a particular place and i'm like oh my god i need to buy soap like i'm not planning to buy something there are so many places that you just say let me just enter and see what's there and before you know you're like oh, oh my god i need cutting pad eh, i need micellar water oh i need um, foaming cleanser before you know it your pocket to empty you so you need to also be um what's the word um you need to be cautious and disciplined enough not to you know go on a spending spree just enter a particular place with the intention of just probably window shopping or getting the exact thing you need and leaving for instance i went to boots to get paracetamol i like the paracetamol in boots I went to um, Boots to buy Parastamol. Before I knew it, I realized that I needed body spray. I bought body spray. And I realized again that I needed hand wash. I don't have hand wash in my bathroom. I had to buy hand wash. And I realized again I don't have moisturizing cream. So you have to be sensible what you are buying. Make sure you are using the things you are buying. Especially if you are planning to save money. If you are a student like me. And you, are, you have plans to save money. Make sure what you are buying is what you need. So all those things that I bought that I got from Boots. I use them daily so they are not things that you know I was just buying out of impulse no so for now those are the things I love about this country you know I've lived with the Britons for three weeks thereabouts so I can say that you know <laughs> I am now a emerging Briton <laughs> anyways that's it for this video those are the things i like about this country thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you in my next one and if you have video ideas for me please don't be a stranger make sure you mention them in the comment section down below i'll be sure to you know scroll through and see the ones i can film i'm a student i have school work so i'll be sure to you know do something about them if you have any ideas for me make sure you mention them in the comment section down below I hope to see you in my next one. Make sure you also check out my videos. Like, subscribe, share, give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.